Hi there, my name is Jack the Fallout and I have locked my old school RuneScape account to VR. That means if I'm cutting a tree down in old Lumbridge and I get a level up, I have to go into a VR game and cut a tree down. It might be hard work, but at least it's honest. I made a deal with death and the only way to get my head back is to finish the challenge. And I really want my head back. This is the old school RuneScape virtual reality challenge and welcome to part two. We did quite a lot in the last episode, so here is a recap of everything you might have missed. Also, here is a time code if you haven't. I killed an imp and got a constitution level and played some bone lab. We punched some very unfortunate NPCs. After that, I got two fishing levels. For the first level, I speared a fish in Bootstrap Island, and for the second, I caught lake fish in very unconventional ways. The game is Hellsplit Arena. Back in the world of Gillenor, I cooked all of the fish and leveled up my cooking, which prompted me to go into the Green Hell. In Green Hell VR, we caught, cooked and ate another fish. I went back to old school RuneScape, entered the mines, killed a dwarf for some gold and got a defense level. I leveled up my defense. After that, into Blade and Sorcery we went, but Blade and Sorcery with old school RuneScape mods. I stabbed an NPC in the face with a DDS. Back in OSRS, we mined some gold and essence. After getting a mining level, I went into Skyrim VR, whacked a person and a rock, got some ore and knocked out rune crafting. And we painted a beautiful picture of an air rune. The game is vermilion. Last episode, I mined a bunch of gold and this episode, I'm gonna smelt it all. Fairly simple, just turning gold ore into gold bars. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna level up soon. And eventually, after a while, I managed to get the level up I was looking for. I'm smelting gold bars because it's gonna be helpful for crafting later. Brilliant, there we go, 51 smithing. Now. So I'm in Skyrim VR today and I am using the immersive smithing mod which will make me be able to actually smith the things as close as possible but unfortunately I need a tool to do that and that's the blacksmith hammer. Under the rules of this I have to get this hammer myself because I don't already have it. During this I need to get myself some wood to make the hammer and the only way to get wood is to use a woodcutter's axe and I need to find one of them first to then cut some trees down to get some wood to then make the hammer and do the smithing. You follow? Let's go. After spending about 10 or 15 minutes looking for a woodcutter's axe around Whiterun and the surrounding area, I eventually found one in Riverwood in the logging camp. I think this is Riverwood. But here we go. We found the woodcutter's axe just down here. Woodcutter's axe acquired. Now I need wood. Might be hard work, but at least it's honest. Ah, but you're wondering where this clip was from. At least I got firewood now. I made my way back to White Run and I headed over to the forge. First thing I did was got all of my iron ore and smelted it in the smelter. And then I used my wood to make the blacksmith hammer. And then I got a prompt from immersive smithing and now I need to learn how to smith properly. At this point, I wasn't really sure what I was doing. What are you doing that for? Because you're in my fucking way. Get out. I cannot. One game reload later. I dropped my metal into the forge. I planned on making an axe, but I couldn't yet because I needed leather strips. So I went on over to the tanning rack and made some leather strips with some animal stuff that I had. I made my battle axe with the materials that I had and then I picked it up and like a man, I held it in the fire. And once the axe had reached the temperature I wanted, I moved on over to the anvil. And then at the anvil, I hammered away at my weapon. After that was finished, I gave it a good dunk. Over at the grindstone, I made sure that my weapon became nice and sharp and ready for battle. So now that I've managed to create my own weapon, I'm pretty sure the challenge is done. I haven't done fire making or wood cutting. I mean, how about we get a wood cutting level, shall we? Yeah, I think I feel like doing something a little bit AFK. Yeah, guys, let's head to Lumbridge and I will use um, Bob's Axe Shop. Bob's Axe Shop was a little bit of a failure because they didn't have what I wanted. 
I know what I need to do. I need to head to Valrock and buy a rune hatchet. What the fuck is going on? It's the legendary Steven bots. I ran into the legendary Steven bots and I had a little fun with them. Always fun to play around with Steven. <laughs> After an ungodly amount of time spent in a grand exchange begging someone to sell me a rune hatchet, yes, I have got myself a rune axe. I went to the only place someone of my level could cut trees down and that was outside Drainer Village at the Willows. This was a little too AFK because while I was editing a previous video, well this isn't creepy, creepy facility. John Hammond, where are you? You bastard. Oh. God damn it. I leveled up my wood cutting, but I was editing in the background, so it kind of ruined the footage. I now need to um, cut down a tree in a VR game. Welcome to a VR game called Medieval Dynasty New Settlement. Um, this is a survival crafting building kind of game. So here, the first thing that I have to do is build myself a lovely stone axe with uh, materials that I have in my inventory. So I can build that ax. And this ax will now let me cut down a bunch of trees, which is my task. I want to clear this entire area. During this section, I committed more deforestation than the entirety of the Brazilian government. You probably don't want to watch me cut down like 15 different trees in a row, so we're going to skip on a little bit until this entire area is cleared of trees. And slowly but surely, this clearing started to look a little more empty. I've now officially woodcutted in VR. Hooray for me. Let's get on with the next task. Now that I have cut down all of the trees that I needed to, I started to burn them. I grabbed a tinderbox from a local shop and I started burning trees down. I was expecting this to take longer than it did, but I leveled up quite quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna level up in no time at all. This is easy. I'm just gonna stand in the fire and shove them in the ground. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do to level up. I mean, I'm missing my head. It can't get any worse than that, honestly. Brilliant. Uh, level 51 fire making. I've leveled up my fire making. I had a really good idea for how I was going to do fire making in this next task. And it involves getting on an aeroplane. Unfortunately crashing. Grabbing an axe wedged in the flight attendant. And instantly cutting down the nearest tree. Because priorities. This is the original The Forest. And it is a survival game where you crash on a island of sorts and have to survive bloodthirsty mutants. I've gotten until about nightfall or at any point the mutants can attack so I'm on a bit of a clock here and I have to survive and build a fire before the mutants rip me apart limb from limb. While looking through my little book I managed to find the fires and I thought it would be a good idea to pick the biggest fire you could possibly build so this is what I have to do. I have to build this. I'll put the skeleton down and I got to work. After I cut the tree down, I brought the logs over to the fire and put them in. And with that, I had managed to pick up all the logs I needed and put them all onto the fire. I needed some sticks and some leaves, so I gathered leaves and sticks by breaking bushes and everything. And once I'd gathered everything, I placed it all on. And now I just need to light it because this is fire making. And by this time, I'd completely lost my mind, but my fire is complete. I killed a deer and took its head and it started talking to me. You like the fire? Yeah, I do. It's really good. Thank you, Mr. Deer. Back in the world of OSRS, I was sat at the bank trying to figure out what the best thing to do to start combat would be. And something unexpected happened. There's someone else without a head. 
Are you being forced to play virtual reality as well? My issue here is how am I going to do prayer? Because free to play prayer is a difficult skill to train. It's going to take a long time, for me anyway. And finding out how to do prayer in a VR game is a very difficult task, but... Okay, I'm going to need to do some calculations. I'm going to need to bury just about 600 big bones. I could use vile ashes, but I'm not high enough level to kill multiple lesser demons yet. So it's big bones. And the only way to get big bones is to kill hill giants. I'm going to go down into Edgeville Dungeon and kill hundreds of the bastards in order to level up my strength, prayer and defense. And so what I'll do, I'll teleport to Valrock. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to the Edgeville dungeon we go. I made it to the hill giants and now this place is going to be my home for a number of hours. While killing hill giants I was burying their bones at the same time. I need to kill like 500. I've only got half an hour left and I've actually leveled up my strength which is cool. I'm very close to leveling up my strength and I'm also extremely close to leveling up my prayer. Which am I going to get first? Oh, 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 okay, I kind of missed that, but I've leveled up my strength, uh, 67 combat level, okay, so that's pretty good, uh, now that all that's done, I can go do something where I'm strong in a VR game, let's go! If there's one thing that's gonna show off strength more than anything, it's a good old fight, isn't Welcome it? to Dragon Fist VR. This is a martial arts fighting you. game, and now I'm gonna punch this woman repeatedly in the face. Practically unheard of punching a woman 15 times in the face and her looking up at you and going, wow, that's impressive. Yeah, no, this is enough. There's two of them now. Okay, let's go. I felt like the lady was a bit too easy, so I decided to fight these two guys as well. And I'm going really for a gold shameless. score. stars yet yeah, okay I've done it I didn't fail but I managed to get six stars so I think that's a win now that I'm all sweaty test of strength 100% I'm so glad that I did that I made my way over to the chapel in Lumbridge thinking I could use the bones on the altar now that I've done strength I just need to can I you fear the wrath of the gods. Apparently, you cannot use bones on an altar. I really thought that that was something you could do. So I just buried them. 
Hooray, I'm now prayer level 53, which means now I need to go into a VR game and get someone to pray with me. Alright, so I'm in VR chat, um, and I'm gonna try and get someone to pray with me. So, yeah, you heard that right. I need to get someone to put their hands together and pray to one of the RuneScape gods, or at the very least, pray with me. There are many different worlds in VR chat that you can visit and have a look at. It's just like the most depressing thing ever. I'm, I'm just a sad bot in the rain. Hello, does anyone want to pray with me? Believe it or not, it took a lot longer than it appears to get someone to pray with me in VR chat. I think I spent about half an hour to 40 minutes looking for someone. You, pray with me. Right. I will you will pray with me. I am a dog man. I will pray with you. You will pray with me. Let's pray with Let's pray together. Let's pray together. Okay. Put your okay. controllers oh. down. Put okay. your controllers down. It's my I'm from the UK. I'm freaking British, man. Hey, hey, I'm the hey, UK. Hey. Fuck you, motherfucker. Mr. White and Black, it's nice to meet you. Once again, it's nice to meet you. Um, what is your favorite RuneScape god? My favorite what? RuneScape god. Are you a Gothic? Gothic. I do not know. I have no clue. Let's 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 both just pray. I apologize. Oh, Thank you for Gothic, too, Gothic for, for being the man himself. Get away from me. Can I get a Gothic? Gothic. Uh, it's okay, my friend. I, I I will always be here to pray. I am a praying man myself. I'm grabbing my controller. Thank you for the praying session, my friend. I, I I enjoy it very much. Yep, that's really the best I got. But we prayed to Gothix, so challenge complete. I, I have a question. Yeah, you. Why is there a tiger shark shoved up your ass? That's my tail, bro. So now, what do I need to do? Uh, it seems I've done mining and smithing and fishing and cooking and fire making, wood cutting, we've done rune crafting with magic ranged attack and crafting. That's all that's left. Um, crafting might be a bit of an annoying one, so I might I might go ahead and do crafting. I'm not sure how many, um, what can I make with 50 crafting that is free to play? Ruby amulet. Where would I get rubies from? That's a question. After doing a little bit of research, I need to get hundreds of gems to level up my crafting. So I went to one of the gem traders. Okay, so let's go buy some rubies from Alcared. And once we do that, we'll be able to make the ruby amulets in Edgeville. Okay, so um, trading with a gem trader has been an absolute failure. Do I have to pay a toll to get out? I have to pay to get the fuck out. That's a bloody ripoff. So plan A failed. Can't get gems from Gem Trader apparently. Useless Gem Trader. So now we're going to head on over to the Grand Exchange and beg for hours upon hours and hope someone is able to sell us as many gems as we can possibly buy. <sighs> well, I've got one. After a minute, an hour, a day, God knows how long I spent here, I managed to get this many gems. As time went on, my collection increased. Now that I have enough gems, well, what I thought was enough gems, I went to the crafting guild to collect the molds you need to make the actual jewelry. And then I started making amulets because I thought that was the best thing to do currently. I made a bunch of random jewelry to try and level up my crafting. Okay, so I think that's all of the gems done. It's really difficult to figure out what to make. Crafting is a hard skill without members. And then I finally realized buying rubies and gems and everything is not working. So I'm going to head back to the crafting guild and I'm going to mine a bunch of silver. And then I'm going to turn those silvers into tiaras. And then hopefully that will help me level up a bit more. Apparently during all of this, I started mining clay, mixing clay with water and making bowls. I don't remember why I did this, but apparently I wanted some bowls. Now that I've made some bowls, I'm going to um, mine the silver. I'm going to mine an inventory of silver, head back to Valrock, go to Edgeville, smith the silver, and then make the tiara. So what I did is I mined a bunch of silver, I made my way to Edgeville, and then I smelted all of the silver into bars. And once that was done, I started to make the tiaras. I think I need to make about three or four. And then once I did that, yeah, okay, now I'm level 51 crafting. Brilliant. Okay, I've done it. Hooray. Uh, now I need to craft something in a VR game. So that should be interesting. We are here in Minecraft. 
What I'm going to do today is I want a full set of stone tools and I have to make these stone tools before nighttime hits. The first thing that I did was cut a tree down with my bare hands with my newfound wood. Broke my leg a little bit, but I'm fine, I'll live. I broke some more trees because I needed much, much more wood. I figured out how to turn wood into planks and I made a crafting table. It's honestly been a minute since I played Minecraft, so it's taking a little bit of getting used to to learn how to play this game again. Turned a bunch of the planks into sticks because you need sticks to make the tools, I believe. And then I made myself a wooden pickaxe to get myself some stone. I spotted a zombie in a distance and that was quite terrifying. There's a little baby fucker there too. I was extremely paranoid that I was about to be attacked and murdered by a zombie. So I desperately hacked away at the dirt to get to the stone. And once I did, I managed to get the stone. I mined about three stone and then I used that stone to make a stone pickaxe. That's one down and I've got a few more left to do. I used the stone to destroy more stone and then eventually I had enough stone to make all of the other tools. I started off with a stone sword and then I made... No, that's, that's wrong. That's not how you make a stone axe. I've completely forgotten this. I completely ruined it. Ah, there we go. And then I made a stone axe. And then lastly... Go on, think, Jack, think. And I made a stone shovel and a stone hoe. And that's it. I have done it. And before nighttime killed me, because I would have died if nighttime had have hit. Let's all be honest here. The old school runescape. Now, what I'm going to do is level up my magic. So I need to figure out what spell am I going to use and how many runes am I going to need? It honestly didn't take me long to realise Fire Blast is the best thing to use. And I think I'm going to need a bunch of death runes. So I headed towards a magic shop to buy as many runes as I possibly could. Because I'm level 68 magic, I want to get to level 69 and there's quite a lot of XP in between those numbers. Well, for me anyway. Maybe she'll sell some magic clothes as well. I can buy a, you know, a shitty magic setup. Betty. You got um, a wizard hat, I'll buy one of them. Oh yeah, Jack, you idiot, because I need a bloody hat. I bought an absolute shit ton of runes, and I'm hoping that I have enough now. Damn, I hit 14. Killed a few wizards in the wizard's tower, but this proved to be a pointless endeavor. Yes, wizard robe. I shall become wizard. Another place you can get wizard robes is the center of Varrock, so that was all pointless. I don't remember the name of the temple, but there's some temple with some like red Zamorakian wizards that drop red robes that I need. Hopefully this isn't going to take too much longer. And I just leveled up my defense. I'm here in Hell Split Arena, practicing defense. I've got a katana and I've got a shield and I'm going to be fighting a dark knight. This is a dark knight. They are scary to say the least. Hi, so you're probably wondering how I got myself into this mess. This is a dark knight and they have a lot of HP. They are extremely tough and very difficult to kill and I have to defeat one of them. In the top left corner, you can see a death counter. That's because I died more than once. Now you get to watch my slow descent into madness. That's fucking bullshit, man.
I have to keep on going until I do it. That's the rule. And slices right through my defensives. Oh, this one has a sword, that might be more man manageable. Hi, mister. So I have to beat this guy. He's killed me like three times. You ducked it. There's a hem in my mouth. <laughs> Seriously unfit if you didn't know, so this is it doesn't help because I don't know how much help he's got. That was a, that was a fucking fight and a half. Jesus. And eventually these guys will drop um, robes of Zamorak. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, brilliant, I got it. Wonderful. Yeah, this is what I need. Robe button. Yay, full Zamorok robes. This is what I wanted. Now that I have a full set of Zamorok robes, I was going to go to the Asgarnia Ice Dungeon, but I went there and realised it was a failure, so I headed towards Mosh Giants because they give better XP, I think. I, I leveled up my hit points. Welcome to a game called Swordsman's VR. My challenge, if I choose to accept it, which I did, is to complete the entire first level. That's it, that's the challenge, and I have the boss to beat at the end. This was a fucking mistake. The white box you can see at the top is how long this challenge took me. You call yourself a knight, you're barely a flesh wound. 
What? That didn't make any sense. Let me explain how this works. Each level has a specific number of enemies I have to defeat, and if I am killed by any of these enemies, I have to start that level again. Die! As time progresses, I get more tired and die a lot more. This gets extremely frustrating, having to repeat le- Yes! I should have chose Blade and Sorcery. It's a much better game. This is just random chance you fing die. You. Oh, fuck off. That's fucking bullshit. This game is fucking garbage. Fuck you. I'm sick of you bastards. <laughs> Idiot. You too, huh, bitch? You want some? Can you? Oh, now do I do the boss fight? I mean, I have to, I've gone this far. That's as a challenge, do the whole level. I'm an idiot, why did I agree to this? I'm pretty sure I went for lunch and left the recording on. And now that we're at the final challenge, the boss, it was no easy task. It was so difficult, in fact, I resorted to getting on my knees, hiding behind one of those stone pillars and hitting him in the knees repeatedly, like a little floor goblin.
Does that count as cheating? I don't know. I don't care. I did it. Whew. Okay, I did that. That was the toughest challenge yet, and it was just when I thought, oh, that'll do, yeah, that'll be good. No. That was fucking difficult, man. Including the rest towards the end, it was about an hour and 30 minutes this whole challenge took. It was long. Um, after completing this challenge, we are going straight back to Mosh Giants because I'm very nearly magic level 69. Oh, Ruby! Why is he taking all the Mosh Giants away from me? 69 magic. There we go. Absolutely wonderful. Today we are back in virtual reality, quite so soon after the last one, and we are doing Bleak Falls Barrow. I got myself some fire spells. Because I leveled up my magic, I'm only able to use magic in my hands. I'm saying that because I punched a couple of the fuckers. Okay, and if I can make it to the end of Bleak Falls Barrows, then I have successfully completed the challenge. On my way to Bleak Falls Barrows, I showed uh, Rabbit my unlimited power. I barbecued a couple of bandits and now I'm on my way inside actual Bleak Falls Barrows. This is just out the front. Oh. Oh. Burn. 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 Just gotta keep the fire going, you know? <coughs> dust. I hate dust. I did the only logical thing when presented with a seven-foot oh, no, spider. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Hey, you can't get me, you stupid old... Oh, it's a yeah, fucking spider. You shut up! I'm gonna kill you in a minute, you dickhead. Burn, burn, burn. After dealing with the spider, I got someone else to deal with. After burning that dude to a crisp, I took his dragon claw for the door later on. This is meant to be magic only, but I panicked and punched a draugr. Okay, that one was on me. I thought it would be funny. One of the issues with going through Bleak Falls Barrows like this is I run out of Magicka a lot. Burn him! Oh, that hurt me. I am a fire-wielding god. Eventually, after fighting countless enemies, I made it to the end of the dungeon. I looted the lovely chest. Oh, no, no, no. look at the special dragon word. Mm. Snort it off the wall. This one was a little bit tougher than the others, but apparently he wasn't tough enough. Not against me. Yeah. After looting the object I went into Bleak Falls Barrows to retrieve, I exited through the back door. As you do. Bleak Falls Barrows has been completed. 
Bleak Falls Barrows has successfully been completed. This is probably going to be one of the easiest ones yet, but I need to level up my range. There's a bow shop around here somewhere. I know there is. I'm, I'm going to use Google. There's one in Rimmington. Brilliant. Oh, wonderful. This is... Okie dokie. So I've I've bought myself a bow. I can't use a willow short bow uh, because I'm such a low ranged level. <laughs> I mean, I may as well go to the Asgarnian Ice Dungeon and kill hobgoblins because it's close by. I can get there fairly quickly and they don't deal much damage. Okay, so I've acquired steel arrows because my range level is embarrassing instead of hobgoblins i ended up killing pirates i don't remember why but we're here now so that's all that matters so now we just sit here and is that pirate got a pot belly that pirate has my physique <laughs> i think i spent about under 20 minutes here killing the pirates oh oh my range level is now 16. Okay. It kind of just skipped the the screen of how you leveled up. But the range has been done. Yes. There you go, death. I did range. I hope you're happy. Welcome to my favourite VR game. That's right. We are in Blade and Sorcery today. And I have leveled up my range level. Uh, Blade and Sorcery has archery. So what I was going to do is do one of the new dungeons, including the boss at the end. I have to beat this a little heads up i have my voice packs installed so if the npcs start saying some very strange things that's why so the challenge is finish this dungeon with nothing but ranged weapons i have throwing knives as well usually there's one there skills that I have, so you know, um, where you <laughs> aim in the air with the fire. That, that was meant to happen. <laughs> I'm swimming in the air. Attention! Everyone! We have an all- Shivers down my spine. Pardon, buddy! is going to be annoying. Oh yeah, if I die, I have to do all of that again.
Uh, the stabby motion because I ran out of arrows <laughs> but I did it The final skill that I have to do is none other than attack and what I did is I geared up, headed over to the stronghold of security and I just killed zombies. I got one of those pesky random events and this was the grave digging one. I don't know what kind of useless dickhead you have to be to get a job as a gravekeeper and not be able to do your job properly. But I helped him nonetheless because I'm a nice person. Zombie trousers. <laughs> and I was killing zombies too. I got gloves and trousers. That's cool, two rewards in one. Brilliant. Level up. Hooray. Um, so I've got, um... That's right, I am now level 60 to attack. I am absolutely stoked to have finally completed a challenge that is all free-to-play skills that I have leveled up at least once. 
So this is the last VR game, welcome to Gorn. Fun fact, Gorn was one of the first games I ever played when I started my YouTube journey back in 2018. The challenge that I have to do is to beat the first level including the boss and this is exactly how it went. Boss you think you have what it takes to survive? Win your first challenge, then you will become a fighter. Hold your weapon and... Yeah. <laughs> What do you want to quit? It would be easier. Go on. The door is ah, okay. <laughs> Mr. Death, I did it. Can I have my head back, please? What? I guess I have more work to do. Ha ha ha! I'm trying to punch him! 